Good afternoon to the five people, and probably only five people, that will ever, ever see this video in the future, present, and the past. Today I will be, um, I'm actually very excited today because I'm going to be starting a hardcore world. Now, I have awful, awful experiences when it comes to hardcore mode, um, worlds inside of this game. Because when it comes to them, I normally do well, and then I fall in a pit and then die, which is really unfortunate because... Sometimes I actually do well. I actually got to the nether one time, which was as bad as far as I get. So today um, I will be starting a new one and I will be recording the entire thing to upload right here onto YouTube.com. So hopefully this time it will go better than me getting really good stuff and then falling in a pit and dying and losing all of it, which would be really unfortunate because um. I can, I'll tell you what, in terms of all of my attempts at hardcore mode, hardcore mode, I can probably count them if I have like 20, 20 fingers, but I don't have 20 fingers. So, I don't know what to name this world, I think I'm going to go with something like one hour world, because that's probably how long I'm going to last. In fact, I might have to do many, many, many takes on this world. However, I plan to take no precautions. I am going to... Actually, I'm... Never mind. I'm going to take all the precautions I can get. The, I'm, honestly, that's a bad omen already. I will die. I am actually going to die. Um, let me just turn this to hardcore mode real quick. And I think I am ready to start. I hope I get a good spawn. Knowing me, it's probably going to spawn me in the middle of the ocean. Because, you know... I mean, hey, I can, I can fish. Yeah, like... I can fish. I can get salmon. Who doesn't want salmon, right? <laughs> At the minimum, if if I go to five episodes and I die, I won't do another take because that's you know that's quite a lot. And I mean, you know, might as well be optimistic, right? Maybe, probably, it's probably not warranted, but I mean, I can only hope for the best, right? But for now, I'm going to be chopping trees, building a table. I, I want a table, I need a crafting table, I need to build stuff with the crafting table, you know, first step towards beating the ender dragon. Uh, a lot of steps on the way there, including not falling in a pit, which is going to be very difficult. I have a habit of just gravitating towards pits and then falling in them. Um, also, I have a melon on my head, do not question it, uh, trust me, it makes, it makes the gameplay better, it makes me better, and it means that I will not die. The melon is just, it's better. It makes stuff better. And I'm going to start off by getting... You know, should I make a, my should I make my house a spawn? I really can't tell. I feel like I should, but on the other hand, I, I want to go find some stuff, like sheep and a village. And if you're wondering why, um... If you're wondering why, like, my... I have all my, all of my settings set so low, it's because, um, I... I don't know, I was playing some Hypixel, I was actually recording Bed Wars content at one point, but then all of that got lost because, um, yeah, in fact, everything got lost. I was trying to do an SMP as well, but I lost over an hour of footage. You, um, anyone who watches this is probably going to see a new series pop up by the time I upload this, maybe within a week or so, of this recording date, which is, what, the 16th of the 5th? Yes, 16th of the 5th. And, ooh, iron. Yo, that's actually good. I can, um, yeah, I can get a, oh, nice, three, four, four. Jeez, that is a lot of, um, that is a lot of iron. This is a pretty good spawn. Um, not the best, but, you know, I, we gotta make do with what we got. Um, but yeah, I hope to not die. I hope to get a bed because nighttime is just absolutely terrifying, especially at the start of the game. And I hope to not have to do like 10 different takes of this because honestly, I probably will knowing myself. But for now, I am just going to be mining this iron. But as I was saying, I actually did record like an hour's worth of footage for an SMP I'm doing with a friend and it all got wrecked because OBS just out of the blue decided that it would downgrade my bitrate to be like 2,500 out of um, 60,000 which is what I usually use which is awful because then the all the recording just looked blocky and off it was like I don't know someone splat mud on the screen um 
Alright, I got enough cobble for something like a furnace, but I don't think I'm going to make a furnace yet. I'm going to go look for a, um, a couple sheep. And maybe a forested area. I need to get um I need to get some better areas to build, and I don't think I'm gonna be building this spawn. You know, normally I actually and that is a ruined portal, as I was saying, <laughs> looking for structures, and that is sheep. Um well I <laughs> uh it looks like this spawn isn't so bad after all. I I'm gonna need to get some stone though. And actually I'm gonna need to um make some charcoal first. But, before that, I'm going to need to, I think I'm going to fence in this sheep, grab some shears, and then I am going to go ahead and, um, what do you call it? I will go ahead and shear them. Um, do I have a furnace? No, I do not have a furnace. So I'm going to need to mine some cobble. Um, and that is coal, never mind, I don't know. Jeez, my luck is amazing today. I didn't even think that I would get luck this good. Um, I'm gonna make some fence posts, and more importantly, I got to make a whole bunch of fences. Mm, yeah, fences. I gotta make some fences so I can get these sheep. Uh, the further I get a sheep farm going, the faster I can get a bed, and once I get a bed, I, um, I can do a lot of things, especially when it comes to netherite mining in the future. I want to get a full netherite set. I remember when I first started using OBS, I was messing with the audio a bit too much, and then I ended up completely stuffing it up at one time. I was recording a really, really fun fight, and then it got messed up because everyone was just awfully quiet. And, ooh, I'm just realizing there's probably a chest over here, so I might have some good stuff. And there is also gold. You know, ruined portals are cool, they can be pretty... Okay, it isn't that good. I was hoping for some better stuff, but at least it has, um, iron, iron nuggets, I mean. That can be pretty useful. And this is terrifying, I do not want to burn to death this early in. Ah, uh, dark forest, that's pretty good. Um, actually, now that I think about it, there is a lava pool right there. I can, I can go into the nether really early, but I really don't want to do that at the moment. Because, um, the nether is terrifying. Normally I would go straight in and start mining the netherite, but in this case, nah, it's a bit, it's a bit too risky for me. Um, let me, let me make a couple buckets real quick. Yeah, I should probably make some buckets. And I should also probably convert these iron nuggets into some, 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 some bars. I'll still have two left, but I mean it doesn't matter too much. And I'll start setting up a wheat farm so I can lure these sheep into the farm and maybe some cows as well. I really need a cow farm and I really need a sheep farm and probably a villager farm in the future, but that can wait for a bit. But for now, I really need to set up those two things so I can get food because food is so important in hardcore Minecraft. I was playing server on hard mode and honestly, like, that was just hard mode. And there was so much dying just because of the lack of food, and I'm not- I hope to not make that mistake again. Especially in a hardcore world, where I can't really die, you know, I can't really die. Which is, you know, just- it is what it is, you know. Um, I should make a shovel, so that way I can start digging up some stuff. Um, I think I'm gonna put my farm around here. Seems like a good idea. There's like- well, the plants biome is really good because it gives you a lot of building opportunity. Like, forests are great for having them nearby, but they can be kind of annoying if you want to do a lot of land clearing. Like, you could, yeah, you can burn it all down, right? But then you can end up with a lot of floating wood blocks, and that's really annoying to clear. Especially when they're a bit too high up, and then you need to, like, continually just bridge up and then, you know, break them. So I'm not doing that, I'm going to be doing something else, and by something else I mean I'm going to be... Yeah, I'm going to be building a plains biome. And plus, it means that I can fence off areas easily, I want to build a large wall, because I don't, I don't want the mobs, you know, right? They're, they're not very friendly, I, they I wouldn't exactly call them my friends. But, hey, I mean... Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get rid of them somehow, and the first step to that is actually getting food. Um, so I'm going to start up, I probably should have killed a skeleton, but 
Honestly, even skeletons are terrifying in this, so I am just going to sleep for now. Let me just, um, plant these, plant these seeds. And I'm going to expand, I wonder how, how many, uh, tilled soil can it reach for, um, away from. So, I'm gonna go, like, I'm just gonna do a bunch of these, and wherever it cuts off, I'm gonna start digging around. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna chill for now. Um, why did I dig that? <laughs> um, I need to... I need to think while doing this. I... I cannot die. I... I just... I cannot die. I gotta do things right. I gotta do things properly. And I cannot have regrets. Because if I do have regrets, it's probably because I died because of something really dumb. Really, really dumb, like falling in a pit. And the, the longer I say that I'm going to fall in a pit, the more likely I am probably going to fall in a pit. So I might just stop talking about falling in a pit. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kind of salty about falling in a pit in my previous world. So it's just like, it's so fun to just jump around in a Minecraft world, you know, do little parkours from place to place. But in the end, it, you know, it's all fun and games until you just fall in a completely undetectable hole in the middle of nowhere. Um, in a in another SMP, I had to be saved by a friend because I fell into a lava lake, which was, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't fun at all. It was pretty pretty scary, very scary, in fact. <laughs> I didn't enjoy it, not not at all. It wasn't fun, but hey, I mean, that's that's what staying till up till one a.m. did, right? I mean, like staying up, just getting saved by my friend. <laughs> we both ended up dying in the end, which was pretty ironic, but we we got out of there and we managed to live in the end, which was definitely a good thing. All right, so I need to set up that set up that farm. I think. You think it's worth it building a house out of glass? I can't tell whether they can see through glass or not. Maybe I should build. Yo, I should build a cactus wall. Yeah, that'd be that'd be a really good idea. That is the villager over there. Yes. Oh, just what I was talking about. Like I think because if you have a village like really really far away, it can be such a pain, you know. Um, it's transporting villagers. But now, I mean, hey, that's <laughs> pretty good. Um, I think I'm going to torch up this water hollow just so, um, drowned don't spawn it, and then I'm, I'm going to cover it up, because I really don't want to be falling in here, especially if a bunch of mobs fell in here at night, that would be quite, quite a scare, yeah. and, ooh, damn, an acacia village, this is, this is good, I'm going to need to, um, work on setting, like, trapping all of these villages, because otherwise they are going to die, um, as long as I have two, though, I should be alright, because then I can trap them in an underground base. I think I'm going to make an underground base. I don't... I don't really want to go onto the surface much, because the surface is terrifying. Um, and I'm also definitely not going to be killing the iron golem here. <laughs> you want to know how one of my um, hardcore worlds went? Okay, I'll set the scene. I spawn near a village, right? It's absolutely great. Great spawn. I there's a ruined portal nearby. Even better. I see an iron golem. I always remember that. You know, hey, like you know, you can get early iron from killing an iron golem. And it's not like they can't be spawning, right? And I do that, and it one shots me. I die. <laughs> and that went. Oh, that went great. It went great. It kind of. <laughs> I, I at least it was only at the start. I would have hated to have done that later on in, in a series, which is why I am not going to venture out and do crazy things when I don't need to. Um, yeah, this, you, ooh. I, my man, you are, you are definitely intimidating. I, even with your googly red eyes, actually the red eyes make you even more <laughs> intimidating. What am I even saying? <laughs> um, oh. Yo, melon seeds, great, that, oh man, that's fantastic. I can, I can set up a melon farm, not that that's too useful on one hand, but on the other hand, I definitely can trade them, especially if I have a silk touch pickaxe. I will make some librarians, and once I make the, um, librarians, that's the grindstone. Let me just collect this hay. Um, 
By the way, if you guys have any feedback or suggestions for the channel, the audio recordings, the video recordings, anything, I mean, I'm completely open feedback. This is my first time taking a YouTube video, actually, seriously, without, you know, just completely thinking it was all silly. Um, Smoker, that, oof, I, I do want you, my friend. Um, unless I, unless I can't pick it up. Ah, uh, I don't need two iron nuggets, it's, it's fine. The, the iron nuggets can wait, for sure. Um, is there a bed here? Yes, and I can sleep here as well. I'm gonna start trapping these villagers though, because I really do need to trap them. Um, let me just like, put a dirt block there, a dirt block there. Is there anything in here? Nope. Actually, I, I can get in here and I can block those two off. Um, ooh. Oh, yeah, this, this is cool. This is, you know, I really, I really need to appreciate, um, two emeralds. That's, that's all right. I really need to appreciate how much, like, Mojang did with the 1.14 update. I, you know, like, the villagers before were just, admittedly, okay, they, they were not good. Um, but now, I mean, grass. <laughs> now, I mean, they're, they're great. I, they, they look much better, even though Villager AI is still a bit wacky. Um, it's a lot, miles and miles better than what it used to be. Yes, that's, that, my friends, is a blast furnace. Now I have all of the different types of furnaces, which is fantastic. Before I head off, I will get to work towards, um, trapping all of these villages so they don't die during the next night time. Um, let me just ring the bell real quick. And they will all get into their houses. Hopefully. Um, yeah, that's round two. Uh, let's see. Are there any in here? Yep, there are two in there. Uh, any in here? Yep. Two more. Um, is that it? I can't tell. I... I don't need to trap all of them, like, some of them dying is okay, I guess, but I do want to save a number of them, at least. This dude over here, this dude with the funky hat, um, and never mind, he doesn't have a hat apparently, he has grass leaves on his head. I, I respect your style, buddy. Keep, keep going with that, it looks swag. <laughs> um, is there anything else over here I can't? Hell's too sure. I'm not too sure. I don't think there's anyone in here. This it's pretty it's a pretty cool view. I could do something with this in the future. Or I could just, you know, completely abandon the village one day. But for now I have exactly what I came for. And more. I mean this is great. This is this is a really good spawn so far. I'm I'm happy with this. Um not a ravine. Would have been cooler if it was. Um but now I've got to go back to my base and hopefully set up a good old farm. Once once I set up a farm, that'd be pretty good. Yeah. Why not? I can transport villagers later on. That can't be too much of an issue, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> hopefully. I really hope not. And I'm an idiot. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. Why, why did I do that? I, I just missed it. I think I'm going to get like an hour of footage for this. Um... Hopefully this time the footage turned out great, but now it's farming time. Got to farm these these seeds. I'm gonna get some food. Um, I don't think I'm gonna set up a melon farm just yet. Maybe in a bit, but not for now. However, I can make a double chest, which is fantastic. And more importantly, I can put down the smoker and all of that kind of cool stuff. Um, should I make a tiny house? Nah, I, yeah, it's alright. I'll, I'll just put this stuff down for now. Cartography table, um, composter, <laughs> this is looking very, very cramped. Um, and also the grindstone. <laughs> it's a block of blocks. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Let me go plant the sugar cane real quick. I'm gonna need to, um, gather a bunch of different features, so I might as well start planting now. Um, I will need to set up a sheep farm, a sheep farm. Um, I think I'm gonna go here. 
I think I should make a cramming farm. I'm really not sure about that one. I might. Maybe. Yeah, I think I... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I might I might as well make a... A, a large farm. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna... I'm gonna be using a bunch of resources for this kind of stuff anyway, so... Actually, I should... Nah, do I need to make it symmetrical? I might as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Alright, so... 1, 2... Wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 7, 8, and then 9. Now, uh, at this point, I should have realized that the width and length of the fence post gated area was not in fact 9 blocks, in fact it was actually around 11, and because of that I needed to do a lot of work afterwards, I'm talking around like 2-3 minutes, I, I went to go chop some trees, and then I almost died, <laughs> and then I had to go plant the trees because I was too lazy to go back, and then the trees took ages to grow, and then the sheep escaped, and then I had to dig more dirt, and it was a real pain, but eventually I managed to get the wood, the fences, the fence posts, and now I have a dark oak tree near my area, so maybe next time I should actually count how many blocks I really need before placing them down onto the ground. And here you go. Alright, so welcome back everyone. Um, so basically, off camera, I just continued chopping some trees. I just got some wood. I actually just chopped down two. Got enough saplings for this little, little bush of saplings right here, which will hopefully become my entire wood source. And I managed to fence in just the two areas using some fences. Yes, I know. I <laughs> uh, let's talk about this right here. <laughs> I know that it isn't matching, and I know that it looks kind of ugly, but when it comes to my bases, personally I prefer just pure efficiency and such. Like, well not just a fit, not efficiency, but I prefer having a place that meets all of my needs rather than a place that looks good. Like, I like really, I guess simple looking builds if you know what I mean. I don't like putting detail into builds, instead I like something that's functional to wow. To the level that I want it to be, and pretty much I just, you know, I don't really care too much about making it look nice. That's what I'm trying to say in the short version. <laughs> but now, um, I'm not sure what I should do next. I feel like I really should start building a house, but then I'm gonna move, need to move this, and that's a that's quite a bit of dirt. I I really don't want to break that chest block right here, and I also don't know where to put my base. I'm thinking that I might actually put it underground, or, more more interestingly, I might put it in this cave over here, which would be interesting. Like, see this cave? You know, it just looks so, just really cool, it looks really awesome. But at the same time, I know that I do want my base to be, I guess, close to this area right here, for, for safe reasons. I want to be close to my food source, you know? So I'm, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna just build my house, like, around this area, right here. I, sh I should probably start working on that. <laughs> it's probably just gonna be a crown cube, but honestly, I'm, I'm fine with that. I am, I'm perfectly fine with living in a brown cube of a house. That's, that's, that's perfectly fine by my standards. <laughs> um, wow, floating. That, that sure is a floating, um, that's a floating grindstone. And now that's a floating, uh, cartography table. But, yeah, I'm just going to build a place where I can safely live, and hopefully in the future I'll also be able to, like, I guess build this place either upwards or downwards. I, I don't really want to build upwards, though, because just the hassle of going up and down ladders, or even just building a piston elevator is a bit too much for me. So, wait, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, 11 blocks over, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
So that actually is, that works out pretty well. I do want to sleep though. Actually, I can't. Um, I will grab this dirt though, and I will begin to fill in this area right here, because I don't really need it at the moment. Yeah, let me mine out this floor real quick, and then I'll... Should I add windows yet? Nah, I feel like I should add the interior and then touch out windows, because I might use a wall just for chests, or just furnaces. Because, again, I'm gonna have everything on this one, on this one floor, so... I might as well, like, make sure that I don't need to relocate chests, because the relocating chests is just such a pain and a hassle. You need to, you know, you need to open the chests, and you need to, you need to take the things out of the chest, and then who knows what you need to do from there. Like, so, so much work. You don't, you never know what's around the corner, am I right? Um, I gotta mine that dark oak tree in a second, and then I'm gonna have some more wood. Uh, like, would you look at how much wood I have? If you, if you don't know yet, I'm going to be making a lot of puns in this. It's just a lot of puns. If you don't like, if you don't like puns, then just click off this video. I, I warned you. Um, that is a funky, <laughs> that is a funky looking tree. What the heck? It's got no side. It's like, it's like a tree except <laughs> it shaved off half of its hair. <laughs> You are a funky looking tree, Mr. Darker, okay? I, um, yeah, I, I, pray, I praise you for looking like a very funky looking tree. I, oh, I should have kept this tree and just called it Funky Tree, but I really do need saplings at the moment, and I can't be bothered to walk over to Dark Oak Forest, even though it's literally right there. But, hey, I mean, even that's, that's, a, that's quite a long distance. Who knows, like, I could fall into a pit on my way there. That is terrifying. I could fall into a pit and I could die. I have only one life. I really need to watch my hunger, actually. I should have food on my offhand at all times, and I really should have a shield by now, but again, like, you know, it's fine, it's fine, I'm, I am not going to die. You know, knowing me, I'm probably going to forget that I'm in hardcore mode halfway through this playthrough, and then I'm going to go, oh, I, I gotta go back to my respawn point, let me just jump off a cliff, and then, you know, respawn, and it's not going to happen, because I'm going to die. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be my, uh, what do you call it? Basically my functionality side of the building. I'm going to put my bed here, cartography table there. I just want to have all of my functional blocks in one area. I think I might keep the composter over here though somewhere. Actually, nah, it's probably fine. I just want to have one of each of the different types of blocks just here. And with these two, it should actually be perfect. Well, I, <laughs> that worked out very well, actually. I, I'm kind of surprised. And I'm not breaking that chest block. I'm not moving everything yet, at least. Um, I feel like this should be a... Yeah, this would be a good chest block. I'm going to make two more double chests, because I don't need to make a, like too many chests yet. I, I always get into the habit of building way too many chests and then just never using them, because in reality, I mean, you, you never need that many chests, you, know, just, you don't need them, yeah, so I, I'm not going to need them, I'm not going to use them, which is, yeah, that's just what I'm going to do. Probably put this dirt and stuff in here, maybe andesite, yeah, I don't, I don't need andesite, and I also don't need this much wheat. You should probably go see where the, ooh, that's a lot of dark oak saplings, fantastic. I can go plant these right now, actually. Well, I just want the big dark oak trees to spawn. Can you even get little dark oak trees? Let me know in the comments. Can you actually get little dark oak trees? I can't tell. Or do they only grow when you plant them in fours? In like a 2x2 two two grid, I mean. Also, I'm keeping that apple in case I need to make golden apples for necromancy. Yes, I'm going to actually necromance villagers, which is fantastic. Because then you can get really, really cheap, cheap extremely cheap prices for your trading, which is something I want. I mean, come on, who, do, who doesn't want the cheap prices for their trading, right? Every, everyone wants that. I want the cheap prices. You want the cheap prices. I'm actually not sure whether you want the cheap prices. Hey, maybe you're someone who just, like, feels bad even about scamming a villager. Who knows? Um, I'm gonna make a door. I'm gonna make a door real quick. Actually, I just realized if I should instead make a, um, 
a f gate. I should make a gate, actually, because they can come through. Yeah, they can come through doors. So I'm going to make a gate, and then I'm going to put a pressure plate on my side. I didn't need to go into the crafting table to make that, but hey, I mean. Ooh, it's, dude, my house looks like a Cadbury bar of chocolate. <laughs> I, I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> I I guess that's I guess that's what it is. And I should probably also make a roof and I should probably also also light it all up. Um that's looking pretty good so far. And actually I can't really get wood because I only want to get my wood there, so I think you know, I think that's let me get let me get a better view view real quick. I think that's pretty good for a first episode. I haven't died yet. That is Surprising, I haven't died yet. That's really cool. And who knows, I might actually survive longer. But hey, I've got a farm, a wheat farm, right? A sheep farm, a village, a ruined portal, and a house. This is great. This is great. So I think I might leave it there though, because I have all the footage I need. And now begins the hard part of actually editing this footage. And you guys will actually see how this edited footage turns out. Um, hopefully it turns out good. I really do hope that it turns out good. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I really don't want this to be boring. And as a fun side project, I hope this succeeds and I hope I don't die. And that is the skeleton in the background.